Hey everybody, um, so today I want to talk a little bit about uh, what's going on um, with um, uh, with me in terms of an upcoming event and a little bit of my workflow. Uh, specifically, uh, next weekend is the CSTA, Computer Science, actually let's bring it up. CSTA, okay, Computer Science Teachers Association, um, conference. Uh, so that's going on next week or next weekend in Omaha, Nebraska. And um, I'm going to be heading out for that. I'm really looking forward to it. Um, there are two big uh, education related conferences I try to go to or I've tried to go to the last couple of years. One is 60. The other is the CSTA conference. Um, they're both uh, different in their own ways. Uh, the cool thing about the CSTA conference is it's really more focused on the K-12 space, whereas 60 is much bigger and, um, you know, on the entire education space. Um, anyway, this time I'm going to be doing a presentation. Um, I'm going to be giving a talk and the talk is going to be about um, pre-service and in-service uh, computer science um, teacher preparation programs, uh, specifically um, what New York State is doing in terms of their new certification, uh, which is not the official word, it's just you know our interpretation of that based on what they've released, and also what we're doing at Hunter College um, in terms of uh, rolling out our programs and what we believe is appropriate for computer science teacher uh, preparation um, you know, based on, on you know, my history and our history as an institution, etc. So I had to put together a presentation for this. And, um, you know, a lot of people, um, they'll go to the PowerPoint or the LibreOffice, um, or even like one of the things that I go to, and I'm looking to see if I have a tab opener for this, I don't. Uh, you know, you go to like Google Drive or something, um, and, you know, you can make a new new presentation, a new set of slides, and you can start making your slideshow here. And, um, you know, LibreOffice is kind of like this, um, as is, um, you know, PowerPoint, I guess. I mean, I, I've been Microsoft free uh, since about 1997 and strictly using Linux, so I can't really say what PowerPoint looks like. I've never actually, think I've actually loaded it for real. But, um, you know, I've made slideshows like this. Um, I don't really like it. You know, I can, you know, put in the title, you know, you can put in images and stuff. It, it's fine and all, you know. Uh, you know, we can duplicate the slide, make another slide, etc. The thing that I don't like about this is I end up doing a lot of design work and I can't really, you know, it's hard for me to write my presentation while I'm doing this. Now this has a nice advantage of it's online, it's ready to go. I can, I don't have to carry it around, no, I can carry it around. I can go over here and I can, um, where is this, download as, and I can download it as a PowerPoint or an ODP or PDF, and then I have it like on a USB drive or on my computer, or I can, you know, I can present it directly from from the uh, from from the online from the internet which is kind of nice and that's all good but it doesn't help me write the presentation it's about it's really about um making the presentation look in a certain way as opposed to composing the actual content of the presentation i think it's kind of like um what what Knuth was saying way back when when talking about tech, um, you know, which then uh, Leslie Lamport wrote the um, the macros for LaTeX and LaTeX has been used for academic publishing, blah blah blah, etc. I mean, and I use it for my own stuff. Um, the idea, and this is the same thing with other types of document preparation systems, that you shouldn't really focus on what things have to look like. The system should make it look pretty. You should focus on your content. So you should focus on writing or the content of your presentation and let the software make it look pretty, make it look attractive. You know, you should just have to say, I want a section here. Um, I want a list here. And I shouldn't have to say exactly, I shouldn't have to say I want to move that over a little bit or, you know, things like that. So, um, so when I, while I do use this, particularly when I have to share with people who also use these tools, I'd much rather, you know, go back to my usual bread and butter, which is into Emacs. And, you know, in particular for doing slides, you know, I really like doing things off of, um, you know, off of org mode if I can, um, because org mode is great in terms of the content, you know, in terms of creating your content. Just nail some water here. 
Now, I did an, a video a while back um, on Reveal.js, um, and we'll talk a little bit more about Reveal here. Um, but I also wanted to look at some of the other possibilities. So one I wanted to look at was Beamer, and you can set up Beamer just by requiring OX Beamer. And um, you know, then I had to find like uh, org Beamer. I can just do a search for this. You know, writing Beamer presentations in org mode. And, you know, I found this and I started going through it. And, um, you know, I've, I've set up Beamer and all. So we're actually going to, I'm going to make a directory here. Um, uh, presentations. Let's make that directory there. Great. I know I could have done that with an Emacs. But let's go to demo presentations and let's call it uh, demo.org. And, you know, if I want to do this in, you know, so I have to cut all this stuff, I'll just cut it over. I know, I, I forgot, you know, the, that, okay, that's great. And then it says, you know, here's more stuff that you'll want and uh, Beamer framework, you know, whatever. I'm just copying this over. And then it's like, oh, the slide. So here is a sample slide. Um, so let's do that, and that's all there in org mode, and that's all cool. And actually, let's write this as demo beamer.org just to change the name of the file. Um, and let's save this and let's export it. So CE, and there should be a beamer option here somewhere. Um, oh, yeah. Um, open PDF and open beamer. So that'll be uh, L capital O. And here's the Beamer presentation, etc. But what I found with this is I started to play with it. And I'm like, oh, okay, so then is my next slide going to be a second slide? Uh, this is the content of the second slide. And you know, then wait, where here, where, where's the, where's the second slide? Um, you know, it's saying introduction here, but I'm not seeming, you know, the content of the second slide is right in the first slide. So, well, that doesn't seem cool. Let's get rid of that. Let's go to their second slide demo here. Well, a more complex slide, but that also started with the double, you know, like, so let's put that there. Let's quit this. So that's now pasted. And And there was a second slide. So wait a minute, how come it worked here but not for mine? I mean, shouldn't it be the same deal? Shouldn't I have just have gone like, you know, uh, my second slide and this is the content. Uh, I, you know, let's put a third. I don't know how this will show up, um, et cetera. So say that, you know, and let's beamerize this. So now we've got, yeah, um, I don't know, this, now it's showing up, so, I, you know, so who knows? Um, so what I found is, you know, this looks kind of cool, and I kind of like the idea of Beamer, um, you know, because it does, it is a LaTeX thing, but there's a certain level of complexity that, that I really wasn't comfortable with or happy with. Um, you know, there's a lot of classes in here, a lot of complexity, a lot of things going on, and um, yeah, I, I, I just really, um, yeah, I didn't like that. What I do like about it, though, is I am in org mode, which means, oh, I can reorder things really easily using the usual, you know, org mode magic. I can put all sorts of other stuff. Um, but I wanted to see if there were other options as well. And again, I mentioned before that I made that reveal video, but I also found something called ePresent, and I think I've installed it here. You can just install that from Melpa. So let's do demo ePresent for um, and you know, let's say, you know, let's call this slide one. Let's say this is the first slide, uh, slide two. Let's say this is the second slide with a sub heading or two. Slide three, this slide has a table in it, okay, fine, and slide four will have, uh, I don't know, you know, um, uh, 
do it Python 3 style. Actually, we don't want to export that. And so here I can just do, and I'll just actually bring up the ePresent web page, ePresent board mode. Um, and it's really pretty simple. You know, it's just a T or one to go to the top level, um, N or P, next, previous, forward, back, uh, scroll with K and L. So let's just do that. Let's just do E present run. And so it's going to be first slide, second slide, you know, table doesn't look great, but fine. And fourth slide. So this is really kind of cool because it's right within org mode and I can just bring it right up. Perfect. That's great. So I played with this a little bit. Um, ultimately, I came back to um, to the or, to the reveal demo and I should just be able to go CE um, and I've already installed reveal. It's already in my config and reveal and let's open up in the browser and this is already set up um, you know with the slides you know and I could I could basically subheading or two that's just how work works that's how the table works there's that um, and so it's really ready to go and I can just go options talk nil to get rid of the table of contents and I think it's num nil I can look this up yeah, so that gets rid of, you know, that extra numbering. Um, and you can theme it, etc. There's a lot you can do with it. You can look at the earlier video. So I came back to liking this, um, but I also wanted to point out something else that's kind of cool, which is if you go over to a provider like GitHub, and, um, you know, this I'm glad that this kind of worked out because I'm going with the GitHub team, the GitHub for Education team to SIGC, and I'm really excited about that, is I'm just going to make a new repository here. We're going to call it... Um, present demo, is that what I call the directory here? Um, demo presentation, so we'll say demo presentations. And we're not gonna put anything else in here. Let's create the repository. Um, we're gonna put all of this do all of that. Um, git add star org, git add Demo present. E uh, well, actually, e present. HTML, git commit, added stuff, git push. Set upstream origin master. And here is everything, but here's where it's really cool. Um, what you can do is you can use GitHub pages, and let's find the settings for this. Um, so I just have to find this. So we're going to say uh, the source for GitHub pages is going to be the master branch. We're going to save it. And what we can do now is we can actually go to uh, zamansky.github.io um, and What's the name again? De demo presentations, demo presentation, and I called it demo e present HTML. Got to spell it right. And okay, so it's not finding the um, it's not finding the actual reveal source uh, for that. So I just have to put that in. So let's just do that to complete this off. Let's um. Uh, let's go to, I'm just going to go to um, OX Reveal. I'll do a search for reveal.js. Um, and I'm just going to copy over the um, reveal root. Save that. Make sure it runs. Great. Get rid of that, get rid of that, whatever. Um, let's, let's save it. Uh, we don't want to track those. Let's, I'll just save all those. Commit these, um, add it, reveal root. Push that up to origin. Make sure we got, whoops, wrong file. Did not want to look at that one. Uh, let's look at the raw file here. It does now have reveal root. So now let's go to zamansky.github.io presentations demo uh, 
demo we present. I'll fix this if it's wrong. Um, let's find out what it actually is. Demo presentations, demo e present. Okay. Uh, sorry about that. And I'm not sure why it's not finding that. Should find it. Um, Insecure file sheet. We have to make that an HTTPS. Okay, let's try that. Uh, so let's go with HTTPS. Okay, that seems to work. Um, let's do that. Let us stage both of those. Let's commit those. Change to HTTPS. Commit that. Let us now check our file here. Let us check raw. Can we not push it? Let's see. There we go. Ah, check, sorry. Zemansky, github.org, demo presentations, demo e present.html. There we go. And now we have it here um, served from our. Um, from our GitHub repository, and we can also um, you know, modify, change it, etc. And then, of course, if we named it index.html, you could just serve it, you know, without this last bit over here, um, you know, which I've done in other situations. So I'm working on my um, CSTA 2018, and this is just a draft. Well, I don't have it here, uh, but ultimately, I'll just make it index.html, and it will just serve. So. Um, so after going through all of this, I'm actually back to using or still using Reveal.js as my um, presentation tool of choice. What I like about it is I can put it all up on, on GitHub and I can serve it directly from there. I can serve it locally. I mean, if I want, I can even do file temp and it's um, demo presentations and I just go right from here. You know, so I can serve it from a lot of places. I can have it on my USB drive, I can have it on my laptop, I can have it in the cloud, and so I know I'm gonna find it. But again, the beauty of this is I get to also, you know, I get to do all of the, um, you know, all of the org mode goodness if I want to, you know, in terms of, um, you know, I don't even know what these are, you know, I, if I want to, you know, I can move these over. I can use all the power of org mode for organization to really think about what I want my presentation to look like. Then I can immediately get it into a really nice uh, presentation. And I'll just show you one quick thing here on the teacher if I want to work on right now. Um, what is it? Zemansky here and... I don't remember what I'm calling it here. I'll just go here and then I'll bring up the, um, I'll see what I call the file. Um, I have to go to the repo for that. But I, yeah, I just called it teachercert.org. HTML, sorry. Um, and you see here that I'm using a different, you know, I'm using a different um, style for this. I can just style this with CSS, etc. You can look back at the earlier video for reveal.js for that. Um, but again, I just wanted to show here that, you know, it's a combination. I'm using, um, you know, org mode in Emacs. I'm using GitHub to serve it. Um, and I find it a very productive way to put together presentations. I really do want to figure out that Beamer thing because, you know, it, it's that LaTeX thing. So it just looks really pretty. Um, but the problem is I just don't do that many presentations 
presentation, so so it's kind of hard for me to dive into it, you know, because even if I do, I won't remember it the next time I need it. So I hope that you find this uh, somewhat useful or interesting. Um, you know, if any of you are the uh, computer science teachers out there, if you're going to be at the conference, I look forward to, to seeing you there. And um, yeah, if not, I'll see you next time. Okay, enjoy.